dear friends this is my tutorial 25 so in this tutorial i'm going to explain how to do and plot raman spectra using gaussian and multi wfn okay this is the uh, raman spectra of s methyl oxyrin so if you want to download that s methyl oxyrin structure just go to google just type s methyl oxyrin nist just then you can press enter so you will get this uh, this first uh, such ray result this is methyl oxygen okay this is the national institute of standard and technology just you can click this one you will get uh, this page here you can see the structure also available as a 2d mole file or computed 3d sdf file okay so just you can uh, click this uh, 3d sdf sd file okay just click it the file will download here okay so this is the sdf file we can uh, view uh, this file we using that gauss view okay yeah, i will show you how to view that one just open your uh, gauss view close it just to go to that uh, downloaded place this is the downloaded folder okay this is the file we are downloaded just you can drag into the gas view you will see here that file so now you will save this file as a gjf file okay then you will get the cartesian coordinate of this file so just to go there and save make any file just to make uh, name of the file so i will type a roman okay just you can uh, save this file as here here you can see you, you have to save as a gjf or dot com like that okay so you can uh, okay just you can name your just methyl oxygen or roman whatever it is so now we have um, saved our uh, input file okay just uh, we will see that uh, cartesian coordinate so this is the gjf file of uh, that s methyl accident okay so this is the cartesian coordinate of uh, s methyl accident we will use this cartesian coordinate to do optimization then we will do the frequency raman frequency calculations okay so that's all so i already did that calculation for you just i will show you that uh, input file for optimization and followed by the uh, raman spectra calculation okay so this is the s methyl oxygen that optimization file so this is the input file for uh, the geometry optimization so this is the chk equal to s methyl oxygen just to give you the file name then dot chk then you have to give memory and then pro shared so if you are using a linux you have to change this accordingly your linux uh, configuration then you have to give your theory of this calculation and this is the general basis that you have to give it then you have to put optimization and frequency calculations okay then you have to give phase then you have to uh, write, write the system name then you have to give space then you have to put the charge total charges of the system and spin multiplicity that what we saved that cartesian coordinate we have to paste here then you have to give space then you have to uh, mention the what are the atom present in the molecule then you have to put zero then 631 digital basis set then four star then you can enter uh, some 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 give some gaps and you can save this file okay then you can uh, submit this file using your windows desk system and it will get optimized within uh, one five minutes so then we can you, you you can further do the raman calculation okay so now we will uh, do the raman calculation so this is that uh, actually uh, optimized file you have to open uh, this thing with a uh, gauss view and save as a new cartesian coordinate to do the uh, raman calculation okay so like that i already done so i have saved that input file this is the raman calculation in input file just i will show you using notepad plus plus so this is the raman calculation file so i think we have already optimized this uh, s methyl oxygen so for for that we only use the 
fit equal to Roman keyword. Okay, so we are not doing optimization here due to because we already optimized. Okay, these are the default. You have to change the root section fit equal to Roman. Okay, then you have to give the system name. Likewise, what you did in the geometry optimization. Likewise, then you have to put zero uh, charge spin multiplicity. This optimized Cartesian coordinate. Okay. Okay, you have to take from that uh, geometry optimized output file. Then you have to give space. Then you have to the uh, atom. What are the atom present with zero? Then you have to give the uh, this basis set and four star. Then you have to give enter uh, to in order to get some face. And save it. Then you can submit this calculation using your uh, uh, system, and you will get your uh, output file. Okay, so this is the Raman output file. So this is the Raman output file. This is the one. So you see here our keyword is that frequency equal to Raman. So if you go down, you can get the normal termination of Gaussian. Okay, like that you will get. If it gets like this, the calculation completed without any error. Okay. So now we will use this output file to get the Raman spectra. Okay, using multi WFN. We can close this one. So now we will uh, work with our uh, multi WFN software. Okay, just to open multi WFN software. So if you want to know how to download, just you can visit, uh, type into the Google multi WFN. So then you will get the download page. Then you can down, uh, download the multi WFN from Windows version, Linux or Mac version. Okay, which version you require, you can download it. This is free only. Okay. So now we can execute our uh, multi WFN uh, software. Just double click. So it will open like this. So now what we have to do? So we have to press enter. If you enter, it will go to the uh, folder to open that uh, output file. So uh, already I did many times. That's why default is going there. If not there in that uh, you are a folder, just you have to make path here. Okay, just you can copy that path and paste it here. So then it will go to the corresponding folder. Then you can click your Raman folder. So this is the our Raman output file. Just to open it. So now we will get the the program main function menu of uh, uh, this multi WFN okay so here only we have to plot our uh, Raman spectra okay I will tell you step by step so before that uh, okay during the calculation I will tell you two points you can listen carefully okay so first what you have to do see so here 11 11th option only the spectrum option in the 11th option what you have to do so you have to type uh, we, have, we, we, we have to get that Raman spectra then we have to type 11 and enter then it will ask which uh, which spectra you want so 1 for IR 2 for Raman so we have to uh, type 2 and enter ok then what you have to do you, 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 you have to do the set the scaling factor for vibrational frequencies so this is the one 14 you have to uh, do ok so then you have to type 14 then enter so now it will ask the uh, is mentioned that there are 24 frequencies are found so we have to use 24 for default it will take 24 if you press enter okay just enter it will take uh, 24 so here the scale factor is uh, this is the important one so I, I will show you the scale factor where you can find uh, this kind of things so for that what you have to do um, just go to this website okay cccbdb.nist.gov so you can type this uh, one I, I will share this link to you in the de description box you can directly see okay this is the website if you go there you will get the scaling factor so pre-computed vibrational scaling factor so this is the very important thing so we have to use this scaling factor in order to get the our Raman plot okay so here you can see different kind of uh, theory they use so we want only b3 lyp theory and 631 g star basis set okay this is the one 631 g star basis set so here you can see 0. 0. 0.960 this is the scaling factor we want okay so this is the one we are going to use so here you can see here uh, 0. 0.9614 is that okay just you can also type 0. 0.996 or enter if you press enter it will take automatically this value okay so we will uh, press enter so then it will take automatically that value
then we have to do uh, convert the 19th we have to select convert roman activities into the intensities okay uh, then just type 19 and enter so now you will see you will uh, th th this will ask the uh, the incident light uh, wavelength okay roman wavelength so i have seen uh, some of the web website so they mentioned that the default roman uh, uh, wavelength is that uh, most commonly used roman spectral wavelength is uh, 785 okay so we can use this is 785 so uh, i also show you the this page also here also they are mentioned that most commonly used wavelength are 785 830 and 980 and 106 per nanometers okay so we will you use that 785 okay 785 the wavelength so just we can type uh, 785 n m nanometer okay just you can type that one enter so now this with this will ask the temperature which temperature we we want just we we, to, we want only the 298.18 room temperature only so just you can enter it will take default 298.15 okay that's all okay finish now we will see our plot okay the, for that we have to see 0 to 0, zero for uh, plot the spectrum it will show each screen itself we will see so type 0 and enter so see we will get our Raman spectra so you can also compare uh, this uh, s methyl oxyrin with the reported one you will get that exactly what we are getting here similar spectra you will get there also okay so this is the things so if you want to download this uh, spectra is uh, get that uh, figure in that you are file you can also get easily for that what you have to do then you can enter not uh, before that we have to close this one okay then just right click it will close then it will come to the plot spectrum this place so now we have to type one so one means save graphical file spectrum for current folder okay so press one and enter it will save then if you want that uh, data you can use that your origin uh, uh, software to plot the uh, um, this spectra round spectra okay so for that what you have to do you have to type 2 okay so press uh, uh, type 2 and enter you will get that file that file is uh, de default to store into the the default folder okay where you are working so this is the our uh, um, saved uh, the graphical file okay this is the one so this is the spectrum curve file so you, you can use that origin you can uh, plot this uh, software uh, uh, round spectra okay so just i will show you you you, you can uh, plot your, yourself okay so just to open your origin Okay, just uh, that uh, curve curve file you can use that is that you will get that good just go to plot line you will get your see you will get your uh, Raman spectra okay so just you can plot it yourself and you will make it that top line bottom line everything arrange you can um, put that y axis uh, label and is that uh, y axis label also y and x axis label you can put you can make your own Raman spectra figure nicely okay so so that's all uh, thank you for watching my video if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share okay if you uh, and also please that bell icon for my future video update thank you thank you so much for watching enjoy